So number one then, the first question in, in paper two, a wee two mark question here for another differentiation just like you'd get in paper one. I'm not really sure why that's there. Maybe it's a wee stocking filler. A couple of marks left over to fill in somehow or other. Because you just find that at the front. So that'll be two. So I'll just put the two up there. But that goes to one over the square root of one minus whatever. So that'll be the three x squared multiplied by the derivative of that inner function, chain rule, so it'll be times 3. So just tidying that up, you'll have 6 over the square root of 1 minus 9x squared. That's a fairly quick 2 marks for a paper 2. So question 2 then. Two marks here for carry out this integration. Well, you have to do this by yourself, being left to your own devices here, but it's quite clearly a substitution because you can see this top part is related to the derivative of the more complicated part there. So I'll just let u equal that bundle there, in which case du will be 3x squared. So there's your x squared, doesn't matter about constants, plus 10 goes dx. So you just replace the parts then. So that whole thing gets replaced by u. The x squared dx, I've got that part, but I haven't got three times it though. So I'll have to take that out of it then. So that means it'll be one third of du over that. So that's then just going to be, whoops, one third of, that's a log, ln of u plus c. So one third of natural logarithm of x cubed plus 10 and you'll need to have the modulus around that because that could go zero or negative with a cube in it so you'll need to be three amp fuse around that log and that's about it